Hey everybody, Tony here, AI2 Products. Today we are going to talk about the bolt-on bucket hook. Popular little item and we will explain what that thing is all about in a second. When you order a bucket hook, this is what you get. Now on the website, you'll see, actually it'll be this exact bucket is what you saw, and there were three bolt-on bucket hooks across the top. That was just a representation of what you can do. So when you buy a bolt-on bucket hook, this is what you're getting, one of these. So you get a lower D-ring hook, you get the one-inch shim spacer, and you get the top actual bucket hook. So now these are, this is how it'll come, just like this with the bolts you need. So let me spin this apart kind of quick. And we'll explain why this is the way it is. There is a method to the madness in all this. So there, now you see the individual parts. So it's one set of parts, but uh, cause I'd get people that'll order one of these and I'll send them one and they call back like, well, where are the other two? And I'm like, well, that was just the picture to show what you can do. It's actually just one set. So you get this hook, and they say this is your chain link hook, and I've changed this now because the one that are in the picture, which we need to update the pictures, so today hopefully we'll take some pictures of this in the bucket. But the old style hook was a weld-on hook you could buy. Um, now I just have them cut. They're made out of 3.8 steel. They'll handle anything the BX can shove at it because the other one um, was about a half inch wide. They say it was a weld-on hook. They had a 5,000 pound per hook rating, which is obviously you could dangle the tractor from the bucket and never even come close to uh, overloading it. And they were getting pretty expensive to buy. So I just went to an actual fabricated hook that I copied the same profile of the original hook and did it. So it's basically the same, but it's actually a little nicer to work with. So you get one of these and then this spacer is for the factory bolt on or the factory pin on bucket either the 80 series pin on bucket which is this same bucket or the gen 2 has the same bucket and actually the generation 1 machine uses virtually the same bucket and what this spacer does I already got holes in this bucket so you can kind of see but what it does is it brings it shims the hook up so it's at the top of the lip that's kind of the point of that thing so when you're hooking here if, if I did it like this you know, all the hook and the chain are just dangling over, over that lip and you end up bending that lip. And they've got what's called a reversed lip on here. Some bucket manufacturers roll the lip forward, Kubota rolls the lip backwards. So that's why we end up with this big lip. So that shims this up to that point. Now the D-ring, it's like a washer plate. They kind of washer plate each other. So then the D-ring gets bolted in here but the nice thing about this is you can flip these around. If you, need, if you need the hook in here, you can put the hook in here. If you want the D-ring on top, you can do that. So they kind of go either way. So they're kind of versatile that way. So they can flip either way. And actually these hooks can be used on any bucket. It doesn't have to be a Kubota bucket. Most buckets, you would just, they don't have this lip like this. They say they've got a, ro a forward roll lip. So the lip actually rolls down and the top of the bucket is flat. So then you can just bolt it directly on there and use it that way. This one inch shim, it's a base, it's a high density polyethylene HDPE, uh, inch thick, super tough stuff. Nothing the BX will do will break this thing. So don't have to worry about that. And then you notice there are slots in this. And I'm sure everybody's like, why is there slots in that damn thing? Well, the reason is, and it's right here. If you want to use this in the center position, that gusset gets in the way to get this thing to land in the right spot. So actually see how the hook, the, sh the spacer shims a little bit forward there. And then the bolt will still drop through, but it's actually hitting here on this, on this reinforcement plate and that weld. So that's why that's that way. It's just mainly for people that want to use it in the center position. Cause if you centered it, this thing would land right on the weld seam itself. So I just put a little slot in there so you can use it either way. And that's what that is for. Because anywhere like here, no big deal. 
here or anywhere else on the bucket, not a big deal. But if you want to put it in the middle, because that's the vast majority of people tend to put one hook right in the middle. And typically guys that use bucket hooks don't have pallet forks. If you have pallet forks, most guys don't tend to use bucket hooks because you'll use your pallet forks for picking and lifting versus your bucket for that type of thing. Now it's like I, the vast majority of people either buy just one or two of these, very few buy actually three of them, but that just depends on how you want to do it. So you can have three sets of holes and move them around or use them however you need to use them. So there, that would be just using one bu uh, bucket hook. They say you can put it on this side, that side, middle, those are your three most popular spots. But I think when we put the picture in the website, now we're going to have just a picture of this one hook. That way it doesn't confuse people. But uh, so no, that is basically the bulk on bucket hook, a pretty simple, handy little product that uh, we came up with here that people just seem to want. It's like it's a very handy little thing to have. But if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. You can get hold of me at 320-331-1055. Email me at Tony at bxattachments.com. You find us on Facebook, on our Facebook page, or our group page, the BXer Network. Check us out. Thank you very much. See ya. There. I'm ready. Ready? So bolt on bucket hooks. Take one. Good job. Got our good clap in there. The clapper. So oh now I gotta get Gotta get into it. Gotta get into it. Alright. Uh anyway. Hey everybody, Tony here at A2 Products. Today we are here to talk about the bolt on bucket hook. And maybe it's yeah. And your phone is ringing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing that it's ringing though, honey. Don't worry, we're going to let our front desk girl get it. Yeah. You want to grab the phone? I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's our new employee. I don't know why that's such a... Why I'm <laughs> Are you working for us? <laughs>